something with a bit of defensive incompetence, which we always like. What we don't like is this absolute flagrant dive, and then to claim a penalty, horrendous. A bit of the same going on from Pedersen, who jumps a shadow here too. <laughs> and this season there was so much about it, even the refs were getting involved. Chris Foy jumps a shadow too. Well, why shouldn't I go for something too, he seems to say. Um, a bit of this never goes amiss, although don't do it at school, lads. And uh, Yakubu gets a little bit from uh, Pantsil here. Uh, <laughs> Yakubu's... <laughs> That's our sound effect, by the way. Yakubu's <laughs> indignation just makes me laugh more every time Every time I see it. Uh, basic instinct came to mind here, for reasons that I won't explain. Um, luckily, a programme is thrust in the way of her on broadcastables. <laughs> Before we get a look, thank you, madam. We all enjoyed that very much. Managers, we do like to get this crafty insight into their expertise, the things they spot that we can't see. <laughs> Always good advice, that, isn't it? Hand signals have been fertile territory for us. Emu, you know Emu, says Gary, he's going to get it. Emu gets it, unless you sort yourselves out. Yeah, that'll be the end for Emu. Here he's saying, you two, get the ball, two of you, to me, not you, ball, two, not... Anyway, whatever, I don't know what he's on about. I don't know what this is about, he's turned to it. come on, you're hard enough, quit your talking, come on, let's get it on, come out here, I'll sort you out. And he shrugs. This is David Moyes celebrating, yes, celebrating a goal. This is David Moyes when he's happy. This is his happy <laughs> face. In a moment, he'll turn round, whip his coat off, and fling it angrily at his own bench. Not quite sure what that's all about. Here's a metaphor for uh, Man City's whole season. The manager stands up, the chair flits back, and he nearly ends up on his ARSE, but uh, just about saves himself, as he has done till the end of the season. And this is a champagne moment. Mike Phelan sees a balloon. He decides to get rid of the balloon by popping it. The biggest shock of Fergie's season. <laughs> Mike, I'd be careful if I was you. You might kill him with the shock, although maybe, Mike, that is what you were thinking of. <laughs> I'd kill him, John. That's brilliant. My favourite fans of the season? Mr. Strong, he certainly is. He's an Arsenal fan. If he says it's Tuesday, it is Tuesday. I like the cut of his jib. He's Arsenal fan too. Scary, has a little dance, and then goes ballistic. <laughs> I don't want to see him up a dark alley either. The scariest fan of all, though, I think this was a Borough fan. He looks like Ronnie O'Sullivan's brother, and he looks as though he's going to do something horrible. He does do something horrible. He shows us his man boobs. <laughs> we didn't want to see that, especially with that look in your eye. It was the moment I knew back in August West Brom season was going to work out. When even the ball boys can't stay on their feet, you know you're going to have trouble staying in the Premier League. Up she goes. There was a bit of the Devon lock about that. Jump in a shadow. And uh, here we see Scott Carson doing what most West Brom fans will do when they look back at the season. Jump. <laughs> in horror. I don't know what he saw, but it's what we all feel when we look back on this year. Horrendous stuff. And finally, we don't want to see this. It's mascot abuse. In the light of day at Stoke, just quite disgusting. <laughs> I can't believe we're showing it again, even if he is only pulling his tail out.